Hi everyone, so in today's video we are going to be talking about how you can go from brunette to blonde and whether it's a blonde balayage or just blonde highlights or even just a classic all over blonde. So we all know that this blonde trend is definitely here to stay and I feel with the products and amazing resources that we have available to us now, it is definitely much easier which is why I think the trend is so prevalent. But in addition to that, there is definitely the not so pretty side of going lighter and we've all heard it's not possible in one session. I have definitely said this on my channel and I feel like most hairdressers when showing a picture of dark brown hair and the client wanting to go really bright blonde, it's probably one of the things that a hairdresser will fear the most. It is one of the most difficult things to do to the hair, but also one of the hardest things on the hair, meaning where it can be really damaging if done incorrectly, if the hair is not at a healthy place to begin with. But we constantly see celebrities go what seems like overnight blonde and we especially see it on the Kardashians who are predominantly dark haired naturally and they go blonde like that and they're platinum and they look perfectly toned and of course a lot of us want that. So this video is going to be to inform you how the Kardashians can do it and how you can do it too but with the steps getting you there in the most helpful way possible. So the first thing that you need to identify with your hair is your hair's health and whether or not your hair is previously processed. Now if your hair has only been colored but you've been going a lot darker or darker than even your natural color is, that can pose a problem or it just means that it's going to take way more lifting, so meaning way more bleach sessions just to get that out of the hair, just so that you can even start the blonding process. If your hair is not healthy and it's been overly processed, I highly, highly recommend that you give your hair some time and visit this idea later. If your hair is healthy, let's move on to the next step. So the next step is to identify which level of hair you currently have. Whether it's colored or your natural color, just looking at a scale of one being the darkest black and 10 being platinum blonde. Where do you fit on that scale? Normally brunettes tend to hang out between level three and five. So if you're gonna be lightening your hair and you're gonna be doing it in a healthy way, normally you only want to lift the hair about two to three levels per session. So if you are starting, say from two or a three, and you wanna to get to a 10, that's a lot of levels that you need to go through. So clearly in one session, it's going to be very difficult. So from the scale, you can kind of see how many sessions it would naturally take you to get there. Now, the big question that we all hairdressers get is how do the Kardashians do it? They seem to do it overnight and their hair never goes through that orangey yellow stage. And the answer to that is actually, they do go through that yellow stage. But for situations like Kim, and like we've seen Chloe recently do, I kind of want to explain a little bit of the processing that goes along with celebrities. So first of all, celebrities have around the clock stylists. So what that means is not only when their hair has finally reached their hair color goal, they have someone to help them treat it, help them tone it, sometimes almost a daily, sometimes every two to three days. And they have someone applying the correct products to nurture the hair back to health. And someone that is round the clock styling their hair that's not going to further damage it and style it in the best way possible to hide any damage if there is any. So when Kim Kardashian pulled the super blonde look a couple of years ago, Chris Appleton actually came out and said that it was like an over 11 hour process and they bleached her hair, washed it, shampooed, treated it, bleached it again, shampooed, treated it, and then bleached again, and of course then toned it. Now if you were to pay for something like that in a salon, it would most likely be over a thousand dollars at least and not to make blonding in any way about money, but I do feel the average client probably doesn't wanna pay that in one session. And again, when you bleach the hair that much, the hair in no way is ever going to be super healthy when you're done with that. And just two days after she had gone blonde, she came on and publicly showed Chris Appleton toning her hair again. And if you think about it, that was probably the first time that she was shampooing her hair after she had gone that blonde. And again, she had a professional toning it and really ensuring that the color stayed cool and glistening and perfect. So basically the point of the step that I'm trying to make here 
is that it is extremely high maintenance if you do it in one session. Whereas if we break it up in sessions, we will give you hair that is actually sustainably blonde, which means it will stay blonde, it's not gonna break off, and it's not gonna go extremely brassy over time. And we are giving you something that is little to no maintenance at home. Which now brings me to my next point, and that is affordability. When you go in and request a lighter look, ask how often you need to touch it up. You could even ask how many sessions the hairdresser believes that it will take to get you to your desired hair color, just so you can kind of have an estimate so you can see whether that is a possibility for you. And I think the issue with blonding in our industry is that everyone wants it quick and everyone wants it cheap. And unless you're naturally, say, a level seven or eight, and you're trying to go to a 10, it's not gonna be cheap, and it's not gonna be in one session in order for it to look good for a long period of time. Which, circling back to the Kardashians, if you've noticed, they never stay blonde for long. And for that exact reason, is because they went so extreme that it isn't sustainable for their hair. So they tone it two to three times or as many times as they can to keep that beautiful blonde tone alive. And when it is no longer possible, they revert back to their dark hair. Also keep in mind that a lot of these looks are in fact wigs. And when they're not wigs, even when their hair is bleached, there are a lot of extensions and hair pieces and hair added to that lightened hair to make it look even more glorious. And so to sum it all up, if you do want to go lighter, and you do want it to be sustainable and you don't have thousands of dollars to slash out on this one session, going in for a series of blonding sessions is what's going to get you there. Most of the time, us as hairdressers, we don't have the time to explain it, how I'm explaining it here. And I can so see how it can be so frustrating to clients when it's like, well, celebrities can do it, why can't you do it on me? Like, why doesn't anyone wanna just make me blonde overnight? All right, guys, so I hope I've answered every question you guys have had. Also, what did you guys want to see in the couple of weeks coming up? Would you want to see a summer lookbook? The vlog from our road trip where Adam and I went to LA and Santa Barbara and through Malibu. Or lastly, a video on basically how I've gotten my health back. I've been really open about my adrenal fatigue and my hormone imbalance and basically the surgery that I had to the large fibroid that I had in my uterus, um, from kind of lifestyle things that I've changed, from my diet to how I've cleared up my skin naturally and not just from products on my face. Um, I actually think that I have a few good tips on that and I would love to share that with you guys eventually if that's something that you are interested in. So yeah, we have those three videos that I want to have up for you guys um, basically this summer, um, but let me know which one you guys would want me to start with. Sorry if that was a really long explanation for that. Congratulations to all the graduates out there. My little brother is graduating high school this year and I cannot believe it. I still think of him as like a nine-year-old little nugget and he's now 18 and going off to college, which is so, so crazy to me. So little shout out to him, love him, and so excited for his future. And to any mamas out there watching, I can't even imagine what that feels like to see one of your own children to like be graduating high school. I don't know why, but um, it just seems like such a crazy milestone for like someone that you've seen growing up. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.